So now before I start to explain some of the tools that we talked about in using your voice, I want to show you something that is really going to illustrate why this is important. When you talk to people over the phone, you are going to get less of your message across than face to face. But some people don't realize the actual uh, impact that this might have by not being able to see who you're talking to. So when looking at some of these statistics, you can see that when you verbalize and talk to people face to face, they really hear 7% of what you're saying because they're more focused on how you're saying it. I talk with my hands and they might talk with expressions as well, but you're really taking in the person and trying to get fully what they're meaning. On a nonverbal face-to-face -face conversation, you are getting 93% of what that person is saying because you're there's nothing being said is what this is. This means, and maybe you're just standing, looking at each other, sitting and looking at each other, but you are still getting 93%. So the contrast here is in a conversation while you're speaking to someone face to face, you are only going to catch 7% of what they're saying and 93% of their nonverbal, I guess what they are saying non-verbally. So let's talk about over the phone. Now, verbally over the phone, you're only going to really hear 15% of the words that the person's using. Now, a lot of people probably would have guessed this at about 60 or 70 or 80%. So it's really amazing that this is so low. So that leaves only 85% of nonverbal communication, even over the phone. 85% of the words that you're not saying and how you're saying them, I should, I should say instead is really what's getting communicated. So it's very important that we do talk about how to use your voice. Your voice is a tool that makes a lasting impression on customers. By projecting your voice properly, you convey professionalism, confidence, and friendliness. All of these are desirable traits in a customer service representative. When using your voice, pay attention to the following vocal characteristics. The first one is your tone. It's just an overall voice quality that a customer can detect. By listening to the tone of your voice, a customer can get a sense of what you are feeling. Here's an example. I'm going to say this phrase, three different tones of voice. I would prefer ham and cheese, please. Thank you. Or I would prefer ham and cheese. Thank you. Or I would prefer ham and cheese. Thank you. Just the way that I said that with different tones really changed what I was really saying. And the way I said it was much louder than the words that I used. Now, inflection is, is similar to tone, but a little different. It's how your voice rises and falls. You use inflection to emphasize certain words or syllables. And a change in inflection can change the meaning of your words. This is especially true in other languages. So in English, it's not so obvious, except that when you actually speak it, it doesn't change the meaning of the words, but the meaning of the sentence. Now I'm going to use this example to emphasize certain words. Notice how it changes each time I say it. I would prefer ham and cheese. Thank you. I would prefer ham and cheese. Thank you. I would prefer ham and cheese. Thank you. Now, each time I said that, it changed it just a little bit. And it also makes it, I really emphasized where I wanted the meaning to change. So you really get what I'm trying to say. Now, volume is another thing that's very important over the phone. And yes, once again, these are all interpersonal skills. So you want to use an appropriate volume over the phone. You don't want to talk too soft or too loud. And you don't want to get louder when the conversation gets more intense, such as your customer not understanding your instructions or speaking to a customer when they're upset. Remember, you are in control of the call and the customer will likely follow your lead. Your voice conveys your energy level. Customers can perceive your attitude and enthusiasm based on how energetic your voice sounds. Have you ever noticed that your work voice is a little different than your home voice? 
At home, we're a little more comfortable. We don't have to impress anyone. And we put less effort into our home voice than we do our work voice. That's because we're in a comfort zone at home. And it takes effort to project your voice as well as making sure it sounds that the way it sounds is working for the other person and moving your call towards a positive outcome. So just remember to project your voice a little more over the phone and bring out a little more of who you are. Now, the rate of speech is also incredibly important. If you talk too fast, people can't get up with you or understand what you're saying and you, meet, and you leave them with their head spinning. And if you talk too slow, people feel like you're just wasting their time and testing their patience. So this is especially difficult over the phone. So you want to be careful about your rate of speech because you do want to be understood. And you also don't want to wait too long to respond. I've had that happen many times while I'm on the phone. And I've had to ask the customer service representative, are you there? And they weren't responding because perhaps they were trying to figure out what to do next. And they were so into their thought process that they stopped communicating with me. I've also had it happen in a little different way, which I'll discuss later. Now, I do have this friend in talking about rates of speech and volume that talks very fast and very soft. I hear very little of what she says, even when she's right, in, right with me, but especially over the phone. And I'm sure that I'm not the only person that struggles with that with her. And I'm sure she hears a lot of, uh-huh, because you just can't hear what she's saying, but you do want to respond. So you don't want to be also be giving too many details to where your customer can't keep up with everything that you're saying. 